Each chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. The Great Book of Nature is open at another chapter. You're going to learn all about the bull. for saving our homes. In gratitude, we birds would like you to have this magic bell. You're the one who deserves it most, Billy. You brought buckets of water. Just ring the bell once a day and you'll have a very pleasant surprise. Well, who's going to be the first to ring it? I think Fifle here should be the one to try. I think that's a fine idea. <laughs> oh. Oh. treasure that's been given to us. It's wonderful to have so much food to share. Here, Rooster, this millet's for you. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Billy, you sure you got enough to eat there for one day? Uh, you deserve these potatoes, too. Thanks. And this beautiful carp's for you, Colosio. Yay! Hey, Farfel. Suppose we try giving the bell another shake. Just one more. Don't forget what the bird said. It only works once a day. Will it get her to try? Well, if you really feel like trying, go ahead. <laughs> I guess it only works once a day. That night, while all the other animals were fast asleep, 
Billy the Bull was wide awake and kept thinking over and over again. Why should I share all that delicious food with the others? And even during the day when he was working in the fields, the same thought kept coming to him. Little by little, he was succumbing to greed and selfishness. Hey, Billy, would you give us a hand with this tree stump, please? This one, huh? That's that. Feel free to call on me for any heavy work. Just leave my food alone. What? 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 Even fish came falling down from the sky? Beautiful, fresh, fat calf. Three or four. You gotta get me that magic bell. But boss, you know that bull's house? It's got walls three feet thick, and then there's that darn dog with his keen sense of smell, and that cat who can even see at night. Quiet! Well, I'm the one so far to the woods. That bell belongs to me. Fair is fair. I won't bother being a luck around the bull's house night and day and wait for your chance. And when it comes, take it! I want to get more food today than I did yesterday. Are you trying to get everything for yourself? Oh, of course not. The stuff belongs to whoever gets to it first. <laughs> and this, and this, and this, and this. Aren't you ever doing things just a tad, Billy? Good, good. I really don't understand why you're acting like this. She's right. You're being selfish hoarding all that food for yourself, Billy. Oh, quit bellyaching. It's not my fault if you guys weren't quick enough to catch anything. Now go away and leave me alone. <laughs> Cockerookle and dookle. Oh, it, damn, Mr. I never get that one right. <laughs> Billy, we're on our way down into the valley to collect some firewood. We'll need your help to lug it back. Do you hear me? Come on, let's not dawdle. There's a lot of work waiting for us down there. Billy, we'll be expecting you. <laughs> the beautiful magic bell is all mine. <laughs> The beautiful magic bell is mine, all mine, tra la la <laughs> The beautiful magic bell is mine. Raining fish and pumpkins and parsley and carrots and spuds and spinach. They're all out gathering wood. This is the time for us to go into action. I show up, you bellyache. If I don't show up, you bellyache afterwards. What gives here? What? Lay off, both of you. This kind of arguing won't get us anywhere. We've got all this firework to look back home. Let's go. Come on, gang. Let's see what the magic bell gives us today. Nothing's happening. What's wrong with it? Uh-oh. Here, you try. Such a thing. We've been out gathering firewood. 
Wood and haven't seen you all day long. Uh, that's enough. I don't have to explain anything to anybody. Hmm. Strange. I smell fish in the air. Let's go take a look. Uh-oh. It's coming from under there, Farfel. <sighs> Let's see what's hidden under here. Some scales and bones. Oh, someone stolen my fish. <laughs> that was very tasty. Where's my magic bell? We, we didn't have time to find it, boss, but we did find where the bull hides the food. I get it. He rang the bell, hid the food, but the scavengers got to it. Oh dear, this is simply terrible. Billy, how did you become so greedy and selfish? You rang that bell. Admit it. What? Me greedy? Huh? It's my bell and I can ring it whenever I feel like it. So there. Look, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just sorry to see this change come over you. That's right. Ever since you got that bell, you've become a selfish monster. It's almost as though you don't consider us your friends anymore. Talk about the pot calling the kettle black. You're the ones who are selfish trying to take away the food that's mine. Mm. Why can't they just leave me alone? We're his friends. We have to do all we can to cure him of his greed. Listen up. What do you want, low life? You shouldn't talk so nasty to me when I'm here to give you a good idea, you know. I was passing in front of your place, and I heard the argument you were having with those tree creeps, and I want to tell you that I'm on your side. Huh? You're on my side? Yes, of course. As far as I'm concerned, you should kick them all out. Can't you see they're just trying to sponge off you? They think they've got a soft touch for life with friends like that. Who needs enemies? Just get out of here, will you? Scram. You know I'm right. Listen to me. I don't want the three of you around here anymore. Just disappear, all right? Huh? Are you crazy? You're out of your mind. You all hate me. You do nothing but scold and bellyache and try to deprive me of my food. Why should I live with you? You've misunderstood our intentions, Billy. What we've been telling you has been for your own good. I'm tired of your endless grousing. Now get out. You can't mean it. Just get out. Who would ever have thought you changed like that? Billy, please think it over. When you become blinded by greed, you forget about your family, friends, and all the most important things in life. Out! Ah, uh, at last. I can live in peace and comfort and eat all I want. You hooked one! A beauty! It sure is! This just goes to show that we can get along fine without Billy, now that that golden bell seems to be more important to him than his friends. It's not right to think of him in those terms. It really isn't. He wasn't always like that. But now he is, and nothing we say seems to be able to change him. Boss, I talked to Billy and convinced him he should kick those three friends of his out of the house, and he did it. Now he's in there all alone. Yes, well done. Good. Now I can just waltz in there, do whatever I want, and not be afraid of any old cat. And that dog with the nose that never lies won't be there either, so no one will pick up a scent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys, this is our chance. Let's grab it with both paws.
Huh? Stop! Beat me, stop, thief! <laughs> this is all just a terrible misunderstanding. Give me back my magic bell! <laughs> Put that bell down! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you. I'll make you give me back that bell. Come on, let's get going. Old Butterhorn's there. He's down for the count. What? Don't waste time, Yakin. I'm afraid he'll come to any minute. And I'm gonna be long gone when he I does. Think it would be a better idea if we took him along with us. And I also think I know how it can be done. Please, let me go. Shut up and walk. Friends, something absolutely terrible has happened. The fox and the rat have taken Billy prisoner and they're leading him away. What? We must free him immediately. <laughs> Congratulations, Brother Rat. You really put that one over. Oh, I can do just about anything as long as there aren't any cats around. <laughs> hey, I get some of the credit, too. I'm the one who got Billy to kick his friends out, you know. <laughs> What a miserable creature I am. I deserve everything that's happened to me, and worse. I threw my real, true friends out of my house, and I wouldn't listen to their wise advice. How could I have let myself be so blinded by greed? <laughs> you make food fall out of the sky! Mm. <laughs> I'm so, why doesn't it work? <laughs> I said, why doesn't it work? Foxy, you're trying to get smart with me. I'll kill you if you are. No, no, boss. <laughs> Nothing like that. Honest, I swear. You see, that's why I brought Billy the Bull here. It's because only he can make it work. He's the one who has to ring it. Uh, in that case, go get him and let's see this little magic act of yours, huh? Where's Billy? Talk or you're dead. Hey, you with a whiskers, where do you think you're going? You came a little too late. Billy's already been basted and barbecued. You're lying. <laughs> you stinker! <laughs> Get the key and free Billy! I'm glad to see they didn't really roast you. Yes, I'm fine. It's the wolf who's not going to be feeling so well in a minute. Uh, how nice to see you, Billy, old oh boy. I hope you don't mind if I ask you to ring this bell and give me lots of nice things to eat. Uh, We've got uh, you! Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, where's Fox? There's a garbage heap right where you're going! So long! Last scene going southeast. <laughs> now you'll pay for all your wickedness. Mercy. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Well done. Good job, Billy. I just hope I've earned your forgiveness. I was so blinded by greed and avarice that I lost sight of one of the fundamental truths. 
The fact that you just can't live without friends. We forgive you, Billy. Yes, Billy had truly learned his lesson. From that day on, he lived in peace and harmony with his friends. The Bull. How is the bull classified in the animal kingdom? The bull is a male mammal belonging to the artiodactylan order, the Bovidae family, and the Bose genus. They're large, powerfully built animals with relatively short legs. Their horns vary in size and shape according to breed. How many species are there, and where do they live? All bulls belong to one single species, which derived from the Yorus, a species of wild cattle which is now extinct. Man has selected a dozen or so breeds, which are found throughout the world. How do they live? In their wild state, bulls live with the rest of their group in large herds. On farms, they are usually kept in specially built enclosures. How does it move? Bulls are not very agile. They are very strong, though, and can move at their own pace across vast distances. What do they eat? They're herbivorous and feed on grass, tubers, leaves, berries, buds, and twigs. How do they protect themselves? Bulls have no natural enemies. They do fight among themselves, though, using their horns as their main weapon. How do they relate to people? Not very well. Humans are very often afraid of bulls. Breeders and farmers deal with them very cautiously. Can they live in the city? Not usually as there are unlikely to be suitable pastures and barns to keep them in. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> the moral is that greed and selfishness are never a substitute for friendship. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>